David Ingerson entertains in the old-fashioned way on a personal individual level with warmth and wit, solo and unaccompanied. David has been singing old-style Irish songs for almost 40 years and is deeply invested in collecting, researching, and performing authentically and entertainingly. He also has his own YouTube channel. Greetings, everyone. This is David Ingerson, singer of Irish songs, welcoming you to my set at the virtual Tumbleweed Music Festival. Uh, wouldn't it be so much nicer to be able to see your faces in the audience and to be sitting underneath those amazing oak and maple and cottonwood trees there beside the Columbia River. But here we are because of the pandemic and in acknowledgement of that, I'd like to sing a parody of the traditional Irish song, Lanigan's Ball, cleverly rewritten by Dermot Ryan of County Galway. In the town of Wuhan, some germs from an animal made a great lep and infected a few. Nobody thought it would be a pandemic, but now the whole world's in a hullabaloo. It didn't take long for the germs to go global in planes and trains and cruises by sea. Now locked in our homes and trying to stay sober, we can't even watch the live sports on TV. Six long months in isolation, six long months doing nothing at all. Six long months in isolation, this lockdown is driving me right up the wall. I tried to go out, got sent back in again. I went out again, straight back in again. Sick to death of this social distancing. Finished the lockdown for once and for all. Now the experts say to keep two meters distance and never to gather in couples and groups. And eating at home is a feckin' disaster. I'm fat as a fool, eating pasta and soups. Now in the UK, the virus was active. It got the Prime Minister in number 10. I hope Boris Johnson recovers completely so that we can call him a dickhead again. Six long months in isolation. Six long months without toilet roll. I wish to God that I had constipation because I got nothing for wiping me whole. I tried to go out, got sent back in again. I went out again, straight back in again. Sick to death of this social distancing. Finished the lockdown for once and for all. Now Trump took it lightly. There's no need to panic. We're under control. Sure, tis only a flu. He finally did what he promised his voters. America first in this virus too. Three long years with Trump as president, three long years doing nothing at all. Talk and shite and blame in China while Mexico begs him to finish the wall. I tried to go out, got sent back in again. I went out again, straight back in again. Sick to death of this social distancing, finish the lockdown for once and for all. Now the end is in sight, the curve it is flatter, but lifting the lockdown is yet to be seen. Washing your hands and staying at home is the only solution to COVID-19. Six long months in isolation, the planet has never looked greener before. But back to the grind to pay off the mortgage. The world, it just won't be the same anymore. There you are. And indeed, the world will not be the same anymore. And not just because of coronavirus, but because of people's response to the murder of George Floyd, um, we may be at a tipping point here in, in dealing with systemic racism and the racism that each of us has grown up benefiting from, each of us who are white. Um, this next song... Lap and the Blacksmith, I got from the singing of Neve Parsons, and it's composed by Breach Murphy, who kindly gave me permission to sing the song and modify the final chorus so that it even more precisely fits today's situation. Uh, she lives in South Armagh, just a stone's throw from where the events of this story happened 220 years ago. Twas the year before the rising in 1798 when Lappin the blacksmith befell his sad fate. 
tortured and slain by the crown's cruel hand for the making of pikes in defense of his land. And the neighbors they met by the old market stone where they pieced out their linen, their plans to disguise, but the crown's Captain Farnan, he maintained her vile ways with the promise of silver to sweeten his spies. And it's cold blow the winds or Glengesha. Bitter the legacy born, and sad are the days lie before us. Our brave Thomas Lappin is gone. The yeomen, they came in the dead of the night, Farnan took pride in his task. They dragged out poor Lappin, and the neighbors all knelt and prayed for his soul as they passed. They tortured and flogged him, his comrades to name, and for three days their blows he defied. His screams from the barracks at Belmont rang out. At the end of the fourth day, he died. And it's cold blow the winds or Glengesha. Bitter the legacy born. And sad are the days lie before us. Our brave Thomas Lappin is gone. Then the people despaired that their cause it was lost as they laid him by Urney's sweet stream. But the blacksmith of Cariff his spirit lived on, forged hard in the people who stood by his dream, that all women and men have a right to be free, in spite of nation, of color, or of creed. Each woman and man as all equal should be. As you cut down the flower, you will scatter the seed. And the winds are ever blowing o'er Glengesha. But hope is now the legacy that's born, and contentious are the days lie before us. But the spirit of Thomas Lappin lives on. The seeds of Lappin's flower are scattered and sown. There you are. Thank you. And may those seeds that are scattered and sown be grow and bl blossom and bear fruit. Thank you all for listening, and uh, keep safe, be kind to one another, and mask up. <laughs>